SNC 6801M automatic switch operator line voltage input range is 93 to 276 volts AC. Failure to observe the precautions below will result in serious personal injury or death. Some of these precautions may differ from your company's operating procedures and rules. When a discrepancy exists, follow your company's operating procedures and rules. This video is intended to be used in conjunction with the written instructions that came with your gear and can be found at snc.com. Danger. The following procedure requires that the switch be fully bypassed or de-energized. Operating an energized switch that is not bypassed will result in serious personal injury or death, as well as damage to the switch. This video illustrates the steps to set the switch travel distance on the 6801M automatic switch operator. The switch operator, switch, and operating pipe must already be installed on the pole before performing these steps. The clamp on the universal joint should be installed and tightened, but the piercing screw should not be tightened. If the piercing screw is tightened, loosen it. It will be tightened at the proper time. The operator must also have control power. The operator will be decoupled from the switch so the switch can be operated manually using the manual handle supplied with the operator. The handle can be found inside the switch operator. The 6801M automatic switch operator can only be operated when the operation handle is in place. When the handle is removed, the LED light labeled not ready will be solid, which indicates the operator is disabled. The close limit position will be set first. Remove the manual operation handle from the operator faceplate and close the operator door. Remove the handle pin from the decoupling mechanism. Insert the handle with the bend facing down and insert the handle lock pin. Then remove the coupling pin from the decoupling mechanism. To decouple the drive pipe from the switch operator, pull down on the handle so it is perpendicular with the drive pipe. Then pull the lock wedge out of the coupling slot. Now place the decoupler pin in the lower set of holes behind the wedge. This holds the wedge in the raised position to make sure it will not be caught in the mechanism during manual operation. Now use the manual operation handle to place the switch in the closed position. Note the direction of travel. A rotating switch operator is factory set to operate clockwise from closed to open. Operation can be configured to operate counterclockwise when the switch requires it. See the closed direction set point in SNC Instruction Sheet 1045M-530 on page 23 to configure the rotation device. Now, loosen the clamp on the universal joint that holds the decoupling pipe so the pipe rotates freely in the universal joint. Use the handle to move the decoupling pipe until one of the padlock holes in the locking plate lines up with the padlock hole on the decoupling pipe. The ideal position for the handle is approximately 45 degrees from the center of the unit for the closed position. Now tighten the clamp on the universal joint that holds the decoupling pipe. Check the handle operation position by swinging the pipe handle 90 degrees clockwise and 90 degrees counterclockwise to open and close the switch. If the decoupling mechanism hits either side of the backplate, the universal joint must be readjusted so the 90 degree swing centers on the front side of the switch operator. Now tighten the piercing bolt on the universal joint into the decoupling pipe. Remove the handle and replace the handle pin in the empty handle bracket. The operator should remain decoupled from the switch. Open the enclosure door and store the manual handle on the faceplate. The not ready LED will turn off. Press the align button on the faceplate. The not ready LED flashes to indicate the operator is in the alignment mode. This enables slow operation to jog the operator each time an open or close button is pressed. Use the open and close buttons to jog the operator slot so it aligns with the switch decoupling slot. Now, with the slots aligned, remove the decoupling pin. 
push the coupling wedge forward and push the handle bracket up to lock the wedge in the slots. If it is difficult to seat the coupling wedge, it may be necessary to use the handle to align the two slots. Insert the decoupling pin to lock the wedge. Press the Align button on the faceplate to take the switch operator out of alignment mode. Press the Set Limits button to enter the Set Limits mode. Then, press the Close button to set the close limit. If the operation is successful, the closed LED will light. Note that the operator is still in Set Limits mode. Press the Set Limits button to take the operator out of the Set Limits mode and press the Align button to put the operator in the Align mode. Next, we'll set the Open Limit. Start by pressing the Open button until the switch is in the fully open position. Then use the Align button to take the operator out of the Align mode and use the Set Limits button to put the operator back into the Set Limits mode. Once the operator is in the Set Limits mode, hit the Open button. If successful, the Open LED will light. To exit the Set Limit mode, press the Set Limit button. The limits are now set. The Not Ready LED should not be lit and the switch should be in the open state. Press the SCADA Control Change button to put the switch operator in the local mode. Then press the Close button. The switch will go to the closed position and the red closed LED will illuminate. Operate the switch several times with the open and close buttons while observing the switch operation to ensure it is fully opening and closing each time. We hope you have found this video informative. If you have any questions, please visit our website at snc.com.